night. So checking this out is really good stuff. Um, I think you're fairly far along. Um, first and last shot are really, really good. Uh, I think there's some stuff in the middle one that we could tweak a bit. But as a whole, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I'm starting with this guy. Let's see. The sound of it on. I'm just supposed All to right. make it. So what I would do is, um, to me, his uh, watch, watch his head here. Turn the sound off. He goes poop. It's, it's kind of long. How you got that raise here and then drop, but I like that you have this involved. You know, so it's kind of like an inhale, exhale. It just takes too long. I would just cut that in half. So if he's here. Maybe around, I guess maybe 93, 94, could try that. Maybe around 90, you can experiment a little bit. Definitely cut it, I cut it in half and go from there. Just start a bit later and then into here and then the same drop that you have. And if you could um, expand this, if you can scale this, and not by much, but just so you can feel a bit more of a change uh, in body shape there for a, a chest inhale. And that'd be really cool. That's for him though. Uh, for her, she's got that mechanical blink. The second one's fine. Uh, I think this one's fine too. It's mostly the blink in her fingers. And I think this is. Boop, boop. I think it's the the timing of her closing. Close, hold, open. I think the close and opening feel the same. Timing wise. See, because you're having him. Uh, you have her. Might be okay. Actually, we're taking what is this frame 12 out? I don't know if I can do some uh, editing trickery here. If I pretend I'm gonna take 12 out, it's because it gives one more little moment there. Let's see. Okay. Oh, are we here? way too late. What am I doing here? There you go. All right. So you got this guy, I don't think we need that guy. And then we have that. Okay, let's cut all this here. I'm just curious if it's just a regular blink. Just a bit fast. So what I would do is first, all right, so I have from frame 11 to frame 16 in terms of your blink, I still got a little bit of that pause, but then what I would do is you open it here. As I frame through, I would do the, almost the same. All right. I'm a complete loss as to why I don't think this is working. While I look at those things, just quickly, also I would reduce the eyebrows just because it's, it gives you that kind of squashy thing where the whole top does like this, his, this massive down on the blink. Uh, and it's fine to involve the brows a little bit. You want to lead a tiny bit, but you don't want to go more than like this. Like just right, a couple, two, three frames and not this massive down and then up. Just because it makes, that makes it also a bit, you know, robotic -y and muppety and everything. Just have a little bit, it comes down, but keep it to, um, yeah, to a two, three frame range. Just around that. Right, just a little bit. 
Gotta cut out parts of the middle. And then I think the other thing would be is this. It's it's subtle, but you have you have this type of opening and then uh, and then it closes. And then you have on your opening it's almost the same amount here. Uh, what's it called? Like, you know, for in terms of uh, the opening distance, so it's almost a bit mirrored. But I would do for her just to make this a bit softer. See how you have this? To me, this feels like you're almost closing it too far. See how you got this opening and it's still closed? It's just one of those where you want to. Where are you here? If I could reanimate this, I would have that. There you go. 18 keep this at 18 right so when you're here 11 that will be way too short but if I will cut out 16 and 17 and keep the pose on 18 it's the longest critique in history just for a blink welcome back this all right so we're getting into this territory here right all right so you got 18 here I'm going from 11 to 18 but I would hold 18 for two more frames right and then on your opening see how big it is go half that distance so it's really just a sliver that opens and then 19 and then 20 and into that and you might even have the range from 20 to 22 happen from 20 to 25 just to make that a bit slower and you should still have enough time then before this guy happens since I'm cutting a couple frames out you can adjust that and then what if I do I should have two 18s at this point just that opening that makes it so as you have this right as you whatever you're beginning is like basically what you want to do is you want to the way you have it you want to start with your lid just a bit easing in into that which you have and then you close it but then on your opening you start really subtly if that's a word and then that and then you're halfway but then you don't want to go too fast so you would have like from here to here this would happen maybe over five frames just so there's a bit of a difference and maybe this a bit lower so you have this guy and then the closing and then the opening be different than this you don't want this and this to be the same right so it's a bit faster on the close and on the opening a bit slower but at the very end you want to take really enough time from like you know almost open to completely done over a long period of time this gives it a bit of a nice uh, contrast there I know this was a long long critique here just for the for this but you don't want it to start off with that robotic type of thing it was just overall too even on the open and close and then reduce your uh, eyebrows so it's not taking all of this down here right so again you're you're your amount will be over two frames, you like from seven to nine, and that's it. But now you're regretting the back. Why, really? Why? All right. Now for this, the problem with this that I have is just on this pose, it looks fairly default. She's got crazy fingers. If there's any way to make her thicker, I don't know. I know she's got, it's a different, it's a different thing here. Just a couple of things where a the spacing between each finger seems fairly even uh, and then it's like this block type of thing the thumb out you know how this line is pretty much even except for a ring finger going in but then it just looks like a weird rig because the pinky is longer than the ring finger so you want to keep this on where it's you know it might have that relationship where it's your it's kind of a curve like that that's kind of the shape you want to have but then I will probably bring in your pinky at this point and close it in with your ring finger I can't really draw this here but 
you know, imagine your the thumb will be out. Should if I'm doing this, yeah, it should be fine. Just think, what if the thumb will be more out here, but not. So you would have um, the, the thumb out, right? And you have your your I can't draw, that's a problem. You got this, and then you got your middle finger, but then you got your uh, what's it called, the ring and the pinky, really close together. Just drawing ever here. Uh, so you have a gap in between here, in between here, uh, and then you have maybe a little gap here, but you got no gap between these two, right? Like that's one thing you can do, close this gap here. So you're starting to go out, tiny fingers, you know, even through here, bring that pinky in, definitely here, that just gets the really weird pose. And then same thing here, where it feels like every distance is the same here. So close up that ring and pinky. And then watch out, maybe here the ring could be, uh, the pinky would be lower. At this point they just feel again too defaulty, where they all have also the same rotation down. And then that is fine. And I wonder if at this point... What is she doing here? This is a massively skinny index finger. That's not the biggest problem here, it's just the finger size, which I don't know what you can do about that one. There's no scale you can do. Which then goes back into this. They're so tiny. Look at this tiny finger compared to this massive head. I'm gonna go straight to this guy. Um louder. You say these people are my friends, and well, for if you say these people are my friends, and I think on friends, friend, friends, you can have a little bit of a head bob. It's kind of friends, friends, or it might go back a bit. It might go, um, friend, friends. I feel like when I do friends, it's a slight actual translate back on the head, and at the same time I rotate down. It's kind of a not just down, but down and back a bit, and then come back forward. You know, it's like almost like a. Imagine you're you're throwing or burping, like brr, and your head goes back. Take that, but scale it down by a lot. But it's that type of small little accent on friends. So it's not just lips moving. You say these people are my friends, and what friends do I have? And then because it's so close and subtle, see that little. You go down here. I would probably keep, keep this, keep the head. Like, I don't want. I wouldn't go up with the head here. There's any way to go down here? What friends do I have? Right, he goes down, and then leave it. I know it's gonna sound really tricky. Um, and then, by the way, I don't know if this is your action save. Or this is your render frame, but you want to maybe give this little gap here so that there's a tangent with the head and the hair thing here. Um, but have them go down and then stop around where you are you're here, 438. Uh, and if there's any way to keep what you have here, but not influencing the head, and if something happens, then really just like a tiny bit going down on the head. Yeah, it's like you don't want it to be completely CG locked, but. Go to you go down here. Don't have him go back up. Is there anything you can do? Keep it down here. Maybe like see this tiny thing. This is so picky, but the range from like 445 to 440, 451. That amount of small pixel thing. That will be the amount that you go down to the end while uh, the chest is moving. Reason being, it just gives it this nice little, and it's just it just it ends on everything dropping, and not. Him going up, and him going up because he's that slight little questioning, and he's okay. It's almost not that it's defined. I know it sounds super weird, but it would be such it's such a cool moment here where you have all the acting, and he has that, and you leave it on the down. Just the, it's just the visual thing of everything goes down, and that's how you want the audience also to feel. It's kind of like that down, uh, that down feeling. I don't know if that makes sense, but and also just it's because it's so close up, that little up here ends up in something spliny. We get that spliny floaty territory. What friends do I have? 
yeah, I wouldn't go up. And so I have. The worst case, you also cut out. And listen, what friends do I have? And then you would cut out at 450. 450. You could also do that. <laughs> All right. Now going back to the middle part. Friends are supposed to make you feel good. That's the point of having them. I think it's cool. My only Friends concern is down here. Two things here. It's one is her arm. If you watch her uh, the screen left arm. It goes up and then through here, like that section, how loose the wrist is, especially through here. See how you go down and you start to counter animate and for the massive drag. And A, it keeps, uh, keep, feels like kind of a locked finger moment here, especially through here. And then she goes down, but it gives it two, uh, two of an animated feel to it, which is kind of drag and overlap. And it's just this not really natural move here. And then also, even though you have those fingers together, it's still got that feeling of um, fairly even spacing. And same thing with this. And again, we're getting this weird thing where the pinky has a bigger scale than the ring finger. It's such a weird finger. You know, I would rotate so that your your pinky doesn't get longer than this. Like again, you want to have this natural curve in your fingers. It's, it's weird. So I'm not sure how to address finger scaling, but like even through here, it's, it gets into the uh, even spacing. It just feels always like kind of a default hands. So watch out just the finger spacing, uh, and definitely watch out that drag here. So I will go from this, yeah, to that is fine. But then keep that pose, and then go into this, and then uh, as you hit, even that, even that overlap here, that down, cut that in half in terms of timing. You know, she's not that she's super tense, but it's just too soft for her. Yeah, it's just too, too animated. Overlappy. And then that, that move in, I'm watching this guy going in, also feels a bit even in timing. Or you could hold it just a bit longer. Just, uh, let's hold it, but a bit slower, slower. Speed up a bit, and then into this, so that your curve is be like, well, I'm moving and closing my hand, but it's like hold into something like that. Just kind of a s slight little contrast in timing. So that, and that's fine. And then for her here, the face. It's a subtle thing, but if there's anything you can do. Right now, it's to me a lot of it seems in this, uh, this posing eye wise, where she feels a couple of things. A, she feels wall eyed, like The Simpsons, where the eyes go go outwards. So I will bring this guy a bit in, and potentially even this guy in. But we'll start with this guy going in, so it's a clear indication that I'm looking, uh, looking this way and not this way, and then slightly the other way. So watch that. Um, you have to start just having a slight offset in the brows. So it's not so flat in default. Um, and I think the eyelids, that might be too crazy. You try with that. It's just something about always kind of hitting this type of thing where she feels slightly asleep and bored. Like that I can, I can buy, right? You hear like, I don't know what's going on here. That's better. That feels better. That's not... Friends are supposed to make you feel good. That's the... You know, like, good. And then, um, good, there's something about this being just slightly sleepy. And I see a little offset in here. If we push that offset bring those eyes, like even here, it feels like that eye is looking at me, that eye is, isn't. It's off because even though this feels closer to the corner, it feels like there is an offset. And here she's almost, this feels better, not that she's cross-eyed, but you're almost getting there. 
It's so funny. You're, it's, I get, I feel massively confused by your shot. Make this is almost too cross-eyed. And then you go out where you good. almost look at us. Good. That's the point of, point of having them. And then you're getting into wall-eyed territory. That feels better. And that's nice at the end. Like this feels nice to me, but I would probably bring the brow just a bit higher. Not that you have to go into this mm, eyebrow raise thing, but just a bit more. So it really gives it that feeling of opening up like this. And you can have maybe one lid uh, a, bit, a bit a bit higher, just a tiny bit. You can give this visual feeling of I'm opening up to this, to uh, that corner. This feels better versus that, for instance. That feels like weirdly wall-eye defaulty. I don't know. So confused by the shot. This is the weirdest, most confused critique I've ever given. And it's like that visually gives me this weird, creepy, doll-like wall-eye thing. A bit too default with the default fingers and the default fingers. It's just this weird, non-posed moment versus that. You know, where that feels like there is there's something to do. The mouth, mouth shape is different. That feels better. You can probably bring down that thumb a bit. A bit over. So it's not so flat. Just a bit more over. To create that type of shape there. Let's go back. That's good. That's the point of having them. Friends are supposed to make you feel good. That's the point of having them. Yeah, I think overall, like the body and the head and stuff, like in terms of the accent and everything, all that is fine. What I'm just focusing on are her hand animation uh, and the fingers. Good, that's the point of having And then her eyes. <laughs> that is fine. From here on, that is fine. So I don't know if any of this made sense. I don't know if I'm totally confusing you. This is probably the, the most troublesome part. Is from here on. What is this? Two, two hundred. Oops. Let me copy paste. Undo. So from two hundred on. How do you tilt the blink? Uh, two sixteen. Yeah, but then it's fine. It's just that moment here. For some reason, I see like one of those rubber hose Disney Mickey Mouse animation in there. This is one moment. I wish I could just find this and show you that, and you, you would understand my creepiness. It's one of those black and white rubber hose creatures with those eyes. So weird. If that makes no sense whatsoever, by the way, you could send me the Maya file. And I could just play around a little bit. Instead of giving you uh, the absolutely most non precise critique in history, um, that could be something. But this is probably the worst offending frame. It feels like she's totally spaced out, glassy-eyed, I don't know what's going on, fingers default, fingers, fingers default, you know, where it's like a robot malfunction just at this point. I don't know why that feeling fans out for me forwards and backwards where I feel that shot has an overall feel of being really cr creepy or robot-y default -y. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's what I have after all that time you're back to a weird critique um, and you could send me that file if you want to and I can just play around with just that section in her face all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you